second episode of my archery series videos. So this is going to be another kind of instruction video, but just kind of showcase video of going on of the actual shooting elements. In the first episode, which uh, there will be a link in somewhere in the video, probably an annotation or something along those lines, of where I just kind of showed you what the different gear I had. I won't go into the specifics, but I think today I'll go into the actual shooting aspect, uh, go into more detail of what my range is sort of like, pretty simplistic, and then shoot a few things, give you guys some details on how to start out with, you know, what to do. This is, uh, again, shooting instinct, so there's no sights or anything like that, just using uh, the actual arrow to aim and just using your instincts. So let's put this stuff down and kind of show you what my range looks like. Alright, so this is what I see going down range like this. As you can see, there's some hay, hay bales, and I just shoot into that. Uh, so there's no problem about damaging the air or anything, so there's a nice backdrop, and then I just shoot that cardboard thing in the middle there. And I have these markings lined off, so let's see, where is this one? That's 10 meters, and we walk down a bit more. I got another one at 7 meters, and another one at 5 meters. Just some standard things, didn't really feel like doing 2 meters, but up close here, as you can see, uh, 6 hay bales, each double stacked. And there's nowhere in this thing here where there's like a layer because, you know, between here, if it goes through, there's only a single layer, it'd go right back into the wall. So it's always something to look out for. And just something cardboard to shoot into. I don't really have a target. I just shoot one arrow and then aim for that one from then on. All right, so let's go into what it actually takes to shoot instinct uh, or anything with a bow of that matter. Very simplistic. I mean, uh, you just have bow and arrow. Not too much to deal with, right? Uh, if you ever shot a gun... It's sort of the same kind of concept, you aim and then you shoot, except there's not a trigger, there's a pullback and then a release, uh, very simplistic. So when you go into this, uh, let me do this first without an arrow. Never, first of all, shoot, or just like, you can pull back a little bit like that, you know, but never pull back all the way and release because that can actually damage the bow, sometimes shatter it, sometimes make it not perform as well. Bad things, just don't do it. You always want to have an arrow. Uh, actually hooked up to this thing uh, whenever you fire it off. Uh, again, a little bit fine, I mean it's not going to do anything, but never whenever you're drawn back all the way or even a decent amount of the way, bad. Uh, going into here, so there's some actual technique techniques that you want to go into. This will be very simplistic if you want to get good at this. There are a lot more things going on, but just for the general kind of person wanting to shoot, uh, I always look at it like, let's say my target is down there, you want to be shooting so that your shoulders kind of line up with it. Sometimes you can bend a little bit, but just the general thing, don't stand, you know, facing it and then hold your bow like that. It just doesn't work very well. You want to actually try to be as much of a 90 degree angle as possible so you can get like a nice straight line going down there. So you shoot and it just goes down like so. Nice straight line to shoot your arrow into because you're actually going to be using the arrow to aim. So again, hold it up like that. Uh, kind of keep it. Let me go into... The grip, pretty simplistic, I mean just hold it, this kind of area right along there of like your thumb, not sure what it's called, but on your palm, kind of rest it on the rest, like so, just put it on there, pretty simplistic. Hold it like you'd naturally hold it. You hold it, you hold it out, and then you want to use these three fingers, which is what the glove is for, depending on what you want, you can either put all three fingers underneath the arrow, or your index finger on top, and your middle and ring finger underneath. There are two ways to do it. And so we got that, we got that lined up, and then keep your elbow up, it'll give you, make sure you use your back muscle, you don't want to use your biceps, I mean you can, but your back muscles are a lot stronger, you can endure a lot more. Hold up, and then it's just a pretty simplistic pull back, and then fire whenever you're ready. As you can see, I'm keeping my elbow up, if you can actually see that. And one of the things with traditional archery, or anything for that, uh, you always want to pull back to the exact same place every time. So you want to have like an anchor point, so let's say I pull back, I'm always going to have my index finger right on my lip, like that. That's where I know I'm going to be at the exact same place every time. You want to keep your arm basically the same every time. You, know, you want to minimize the differences, keep your technique exactly the same, because any differences can make a difference in where your arrow goes, despite just like where you're aiming. It might be different, so you want to try to keep it standardized every time you do it. And then adding an arrow is pretty simplistic. You just put the knocking, usually the different colored arrow is going to be going out, like so. So you just put it out like that, knock it in there so you hear the click or depending on your arrow. And the same thing, you just go out, whoops, pull back, and then release whenever you're ready. So another thing you can, you can see here, kind of tilt the bow like I'm doing here. As a little bit, I tend to do it. 
You don't need to, but I just find it a little bit more comfortable it allows to rest the arrow. So let's actually shoot a few here again and then show you what's going on. Alright, so we're going to fire five arrows at 10 meters down range. Try to keep the lowest grouping as possible. And whenever you're aiming, so we're going to knock the arrow just like this, pretty simplistic. Pull it out just like the same techniques that we've been using. And then whenever you fire the arrow, one of the things, you actually use the shaft and then the point to aim. It's always going to fire, at least at this range, it's, the arrow is actually going to land higher than where the point's located at, just because of the nature of your head being above the arrow, so it's like looking down at an angle. You want to try to account for that and then raise a little bit higher. That's what instinct is. You just kind of know where it's going to go and use your senses to actually fire. So, whenever I shoot here, same kind of concept. Cancel a little bit, pull back, and release. Do that every time, keep your technique around the same, you should be pretty good. I'm going to fire another four here. One more thing. I'm firing kind of quickly whenever I start aiming. That's one thing that you can do, but whenever you're first starting off, you may just want to kind of hold it back, make sure everything is lined up, take a while to aim, and then fire. Because if you just pull back and do it straight on, you might mess something up, and then bad things happen. Let's go down range and see what I got. So again, this is pretty crappy grouping right here. Like, this is actually horrible. As you can see, there's a huge range going on here, but I'm just kind of firing down there, not really paying too much attention to aiming a ton. And I need to get used to it. I need to fire a few. I haven't fired in a while. Uh, a while is in a few days. But there you go. Pretty simplistic. I can keep it on a piece of cardboard. Hit somebody's body. You know, I kind of fit in there. But no, don't, don't go out to your town and kill people. Unless you want to get arrested and have bad things happen. So there you go. Uh, there's the basic firing right there. Uh, it's hard to explain it too much until you're actually firing. I mean, the best experience is actually doing it rather than have someone tell you how to do it. Because I watch some videos, learn, try to figure out like figure out what to do. I picked up a bow. I thought I knew what I was doing, but there are a lot of things I did wrong. It's just you actually have to know how to shoot. And then there's still everything to learn, and you can't learn everything on a YouTube video. So this is kind of the basics of what you go off of, and then you just kind of learn from there. So there's the second video, and then later on we'll be doing a little bit more stuff, maybe some more trick shots or something random like that. And just kind of going on. So I hope you enjoy these Archer videos. And see you guys later.